this project, we're going to build these awesome glowing Tesseract cubes. The most simple version is really easy and fun to make, but it will still kick out one hell of a glow and keep glowing for 12 to 20 hours. The other version is the same basic design, but this time a small embedded ultraviolet LED inside the Tesseract cube makes contact with two disguised battery terminals on the wooden base. At night, the LED inside gives the impression of the Space Infinity Stone glowing menacingly from within. Both cubes will charge up in nearly any light, so they'll make an interesting night light or ornament for decades to come. To make the mould, I have this thin plastic sheet, but if you don't have that, an old DVD or game case will do exactly the same job. Next, you'll need the cheapest, smallest casting resin you can find, some decent quality glow powder in green or aqua blue, and an optional blue dye in powder or liquid form. To save measuring, I'm using the half inch marking on this cutting mat, and I'm going to score and fold just over an inch. Now we can score out four one inch panels and an extra bit for the hot glue when the mold's finished. The bottom of the mold is another piece of plastic, this time about one and a half inches square to allow a little bit more room for some more hot glue. Making sure the top and bottom is aligned, we can stick it all together. The walls need to be square, so I'll use the pattern underneath as a guide or you could just eyeball it. With that done, it's time for the casting resin and it'll take about 25 grams to fill this one inch cube. So this epoxy is a two to one mix. So it's just a matter of weighing out 17 grams of epoxy to eight grams of hardener. To give the cubes a slightly nicer look, I'm going to add some dye. Here I've opted for powder, but either way, you'll need a minute amount. Once it's mixed, we need to let it sit because it's too runny to suspend the glow powder without it all sinking to the bottom. So come back to it every 10 minutes and once it's reached this stage, you can add the powder. Make sure that your glow powder is lump free and stir it in gently, trying not to whip too many bubbles into the mix. I found that pouring slowly to keep the stream of resin thin also helps to remove a lot of the trapped air. Finally, top it up until it's just over the one inch mark. Give the mold a good tap and that will bring any air bubbles to the surface. Any unmixed glow powder or excess bubbles can be moved away from the sides with a cocktail stick. And any last minute bubbles that do rise to the top are easily popped at this point with a naked flame. When the cubes finally cure between 12 and 24 hours later, it can be peeled away by applying a little bit of heat. Be careful not to burn the plastic or melt the hot glue onto your fingers. To turn the cube into a cube, we can mark the longest side the same as the remaining sides, one inch. Sanding it down with rough grit paper first, all the way down to the finest grade you have. Finally, the very edges are knocked off and we have our mini tesseract finish. When charged up, they can gently illuminate the darkest room for free for hours and hours. And of course, you can upgrade your tesseract and turn it into a miniature infinity stone ornament at any time. If you enjoyed that project, why not check out some of my other videos or follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Smash like, share and subscribe. See you next time.